Hi everyone, I'm Erica and welcome to Retro Beauty Monday. Thank you to everyone who voted either here or on Instagram on whether I should do a Hedy Lamar look or a Marilyn Monroe look. I will be doing a Marilyn Monroe at some point and if you don't want to wait for me, you can go and look at Liz Von Villis's absolutely fantastic Marilyn tutorial. She's done two of them and I'll put a link down below. Also, if you're not following Liz here on YouTube, she's really cute and you should definitely check out her channel and give her a follow. So, the votes came in and you guys wanted Hedy Lamar. So that's what we're gonna do today. So my hair is slightly shorter than Hetty's hair is typically. Her hair usually comes to about her shoulder. Mine only comes to about right here, so it's a little past my chin. But the principles of how you set the hair are the same, and I'm gonna go into that. But let me show you some of my reference photos of Hetty with slightly shorter hair. So here's a lovely picture. Isn't she beautiful? I love Hetty Lamar. And then we've also got this one, which is slightly more sculpted look. But she always has, this one's a curlier version, but she always has that center part. So that's what we're really focusing on today. So I did a hybrid set. So I parted my hair down the center and I used two different methods to set my hair. The first is stand-up pin curls. I had these little bang sections that I divided into two and the stand-up pin curls going away from the center part. My bangs come to almost my nose now. Then I've got a row of stand-up pen curls right here. And I've got flat pen curls on the sides rolled towards my face. And then the back is just whatever rollers fit my hair. So about an inch to an inch and a half rollers. Some of them are these little soft pillow rollers. Some of them are sponge rollers. And I rolled those all under. And then when I got to the shorter hair at the bottom, these have smaller rollers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take everything out and we'll see what we got. I set my hair with mousse. So I just had dry hair, second day hair, and I just put some mousse in it this morning. Um, this set sat for about two hours, um, which is pretty good for me for a dry set. So yeah, let's just see what we got. Hope that you guys have been having a good week. Happy Monday. Um, I have been doing Pilates the last three days. I'm doing this like one week boot camp to try out Pilates. And boy, do I know that's happening. Nothing like starting to work out to find out you're not in as good a shape as you hoped you were. So I'm a little sore, but I'm enjoying myself. I had to, so I washed my hair Saturday, so this is second day, no, I washed my hair Sunday, so this is second day hair, and I had to actually let my hair air dry with a center part, because I part to this side, and my hair is very much trained to part to that side, so if I wanted a center part today, I had to, I had to think about it, I had to go from wet hair to dry hair with the center part. Really love Hetty's look. So here's the center part, the dreaded center part. I'm gonna just fluff out. Ooh, I missed a pen curl. Just gonna fluff this out like we always do with my fingers first. Oh, got another roller back here. All right. We got that going. So I'm gonna take my Denman styling brush. If I'm looking off to the side, it's because that's where my mirror is. And I'm gonna start going through this. And I'm gonna brush kind of back in the front. And then I'm brushing the back kind of down because she has the flat crown in a lot of pictures. Those stand-up pen curls, you see how they give you that nice little bit of volume right through the top? That's what we want. I'm actually really liking how this front's looking. So I'm just gonna brush around my hands, 
Sorry it's so dark today, guys. I am one, with this polka dot dress, I feel like I'm one yellow headscarf away from a, a nice snow white look, too. Honey Lamar looks a lot like snow white, if you think about it. There we go. we go pretty quick on the brush out here I'm just gonna soften it up even more so because I have the shorter bangs I'm getting a nicer shape through here um, if you don't have shorter sections in the front of your hair, if your hair is more like one length, um, you can always sort of take bobby pens and help to enforce that wave in the front. Because you really just want a wave of some sort kind of framing the face. And that will make it look like her hair. Feel free to use hairspray or shine serum or anything pomade, anything you need to use to mold your hair into position. There we go. There we go. How do we do? It's pretty cute. Now again, Hetty's hair is a little longer than mine. So if you have longer hair, it's gonna look even more like her signature style. Um, but let's let's compare. Let me find my shorter picture of Hetty. Here's the shorter, more molded one. I think we did a pretty good job. Yeah, not bad. Um, let's look at the back. And of course I didn't bring an adequate mirror to do that. So I'm just going to cheat and look in the viewfinder if I can. I'm just, like I said, I'm brushing the back flat at the crown. Yeah, I'm letting it curl at the bottom. I'm so glad I recently did another little trim to the back to get my layers sorted out. And that was the right choice. So there we go. Pretty easy. The main part of this style is just getting that middle part in there um, and using those stand-up pen curls. I will put a link to my Pinterest board and also my pen curls board where I actually have a diagram that talks about uh, from one of the studios of how Hetty's hair is set. So she definitely always did the two big stand-up pen curls, two rows of big stand-up pen curls, so four at the top, and then just kind of curled the rest around. But yeah, here is the front, the side, the back, and the side. So thank you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you learned a little something about um, styling the middle part and then maybe you'll try it yourself. If you do, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your middle part hairstyles. I feel like this would look so good with like a little flower or something. Um, obviously, Hetty. There, I couldn't find really many pictures of Hetty with like hair accessories except that big star one that she wore in a film, I think. Um, but yeah, for the most part, she just wore her hair down and, uh, I think that this invokes the feeling very nicely. So I'll see you guys next time.